Okay, let's have a look here. So the diagram shows a circular clock. Okay, so anyways, uh, find the radius of h and the coordinates of its center d. So I like to complete the square. That's how I like to do these. So completing the square, that's x, um, that's x plus 2 squared plus y plus 3 squared. x plus 2 squared plus y plus 3 squared um, minus 4 minus 9 minus 19 equals 0. So that means x plus 2 squared plus y plus 3 squared equals 32. Um, 32 is 4 root 2 squared. So the center is minus 2 minus 3 with a radius of 4 root 2. Part 2, the, po the point E is at 3, 2. Find the radius of the smaller circle. So if we get the distance DE, that's the distance from minus 2 minus 3 up to the point 3, 2. So that's the square root of 3 minus minus 2 squared is 25. And then another 25. So that's root 50. Uh, root 50 is 5 root 2. So from here to here is 5 root 2. But from here to here is 4 root 2. So the radius is the 5 root 2 minus the 4 root 2 which is um, root two. Next, the distance from minus two, two to DE. Is that part three or is that B? Yeah, it's part three. Okay. Uh, minus two, two. So C is at minus two, two. So to get the perpendicular to DE, we have to find the equation of the line. So first the slope. So that is the slope here, minus two, three to three, two, y two minus y one over x two minus x when you get a slope is one. So the equation of the line is y minus two equals one times x minus three. And that equation is x plus y minus three plus two minus one equals zero, I think. So the perpendicular distance formula, modulus, and that's A, B, C, and then that's the point X1, Y1. Uh, A is 1, B is 1, C is minus 1. So it's 1 times 3. Uh, now I made a mistake, minus Y. Minus 1 times 2, minus 1, over the square root of 1 squared plus 1 squared is 2. No. Minus 3 plus 2 minus 1. 3 minus 2 is 1. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. I've done, I've gone too quick. 3, 2 is the point, isn't it? No. Minus 2, 2. Oh. <laughs> it's up there. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong point. Minus 2, 2. <sighs> 1 over root 2, which is root 2 over 2, which is... half the length of DE. D E What one No, that's not right, sorry. I can't do can't do mental arithmetic right now, I'm a bit too tired. 
minus two minus five over root two which is five root two over two which is half d e because d e was five root two okay now we're all right uh, the midpoint of d e to the point c okay that's the mapping so the midpoint of d e well that's d and e is tree two so the midpoint is minus two plus three is one that's one over two and then minus three plus two is minus one over two Uh, the midpoint the midpoint of d e goes to the point c so the mapping is plus two and a half and minus two and a half so we want to apply that to to the point c uh, circle k well we know the radius is circle K, it's, it's root 2, we got that error and do we know E? Uh, there we do, yeah, so if we apply the map into that, um, now why did I say, I have my signs backwards, don't I? I'm going too quick and I'm too tired. A half, that's minus 1, and that one's the plus. So I apply that mapping rule to tree two, that would bring the center to a half. Tree would get mapped to a half. And then two nine over two, isn't it? And the radius still stays the same, which is root two. So I think I think that's this I think that's right. I hope that's right. Three minus two and a half is a half. And then two plus two and a half is four and a half. Yeah, I think that's right. And then finally we want the size of this square. We've worked out the, the slope of this line is one. So the diagonal runs along here. Now I kind of I'll draw that again so that the square is actually touching. Ah. Yeah. I can't draw. I'm tired. There we go. All right. So we know the radius here, that's 4 root 2. And we know that's 4 root 2 and that's 4 root 2. So that there from Pythagoras, 4 root 2 squared plus 4 root 2 squared. 64, so that side is 8. That's root 2, and then that's root 2 and that's root 2 root 2 squared plus root 2 squared, that makes that side there 2. So the total diagonal is 8 plus 4 root 2 plus root 2 plus 2, which is 10 plus 5 root 2, that's the diagonal. So using Pythagoras, we have 2 L squared, because it's L squared plus L squared equals D squared. So L is root uh, D squared over 2, um, which is like 12.1 or something. So that comes out as 13 then. Okay. I think that's okay.